Hey everyone, good morning. I hope you're well and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, my name is Seppi. And today I thought I'd start my vlog with you guys from the morning get-go. I have just woken up, I've brushed my uh, teeth, washed my face and I've changed my clothes. I've come downstairs about to make myself a coffee and a glass of water and sit down and do some prep uh, for my work today. Uh, today I'm working from home half the day and then I have foundation junior doctor teaching and then my work will continue after that and then in the evening I'm going to meet up with one of my friends um, so I thought I'd bring you guys along um, for kind of an unconventional day in a doctor's life because obviously usually doctors don't work from home but as I work in community psychiatry um, my first three patients today are over the phone um, so they're telephone consultations um, before I go for my teaching so I can obviously do that from home and a lot of us are having to do that from home because of COVID. So I'm going to make myself a coffee. I think I've already said that, but it goes to show how badly I need one. Um, I'm going to have a black coffee and some water. Um, I do intermittent fasting for those of you guys who don't know. Um, I don't actually have a limit on how many hours right now. Anything that I can get beyond the 12 hour fast for me is really good because I'm just easing myself back into it off of the back of like a chilled out summer um so yeah i'm gonna have a black coffee and some water and as always if you enjoy my vlogs please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to me down below it does mean a lot to me and to my channel if you do um so thank you in advance So it's been an hour since you guys saw me make my coffee. Believe it or not, I'm only halfway through because I hate the black coffee that I make at home, but I like um, the ones I buy from Pret. I like the filter coffees. Um, so yeah, it takes me longer time to drink, but I just did some admin work for an hour and some of my own personal work. So I'm just gonna log into my meeting. As you can see, I've changed into a more formal top. This actually isn't because anybody's gonna see me. There's no cameras but just because it gets me more in the work mood. The only thing I don't do is I don't put makeup on on the days that I work from home because I like to give my skin a rest. So yeah, I'm just gonna log on to my meeting now and get to work. So I have finished with my first uh, patients of the morning and I am going to get ready because I have to rush off to teaching. So um, yeah, I'm going to get ready in like five, ten minutes. Also, guys, I'm so excited. Last night I did the TikTok hack where you put all of your brushes, makeup brushes, in a dust cover, like dust bag, and um, throw it into the washing machine. And look at this, sorry, but my brushes have not been this clean since um, I bought them. But the only thing is, I made a huge mistake and didn't tie the dust bag tight enough. So then all my brushes fell out of the washing machine and were just clanking around for like 40 minutes until the washing was done. So yeah, if you're gonna take any tips from me, make sure that the, d the dust bag is properly closed. But luckily none of my brushes got ruined in the meantime. But yeah, all last night until today and all of today, I've been so excited to do my makeup just so I can feel these nice, like clean brushes, can't wait. So I'm just gonna have a quick little breakfast before I go. And this is how I did my makeup. It's really like light and fresh and I didn't do anything too heavy. Um, just something fast and just a simple outfit for teaching. So guys, I'm done with teaching and I'm gonna go back to my car now. Um, I'm gonna go back home. I've got some work still to do, so I'm gonna get ahead with that. Good morning, it is, what day of the week is it? It's Thursday morning. Um, these are my car sunglasses by the way. I literally leave these in the car. Um, there's like a little sunglass section and I only ever wear these in the car, but I kind of like them. Um, so I am on my way to work. Can I just say guys, winter is starting to approach like, well at least autumn is, cause it's 12 degrees now. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna drive to work, but 
I don't know why the way I'm talking it feels like I'm gonna give an introduction but we've already started the vlog but yeah I'm basically really cold and I'm waiting for my car to heat up a little bit because I don't think it's good to drive it on a cold start but I've got so much to do yesterday I had the longest to-do list I can't even tell you um, and I got like half of it done but I got like the 50% that was a vital done so today I need to do the rest of it um, sometimes I feel like I've just got so much to do and sometimes I'm like ah oh, you know how much to do it's fine you can juggle it all um, but I pre I'm the kind of person who prefers to be busy than prefers to like be chill like I'd rather be like stressed out with a lot to do than sitting at home doing nothing so yeah let's go to work also this jumper is H&M and I just throw it on for work all the time because it's just really comfortable and big and cozy but also like neat and underneath it I'm wearing my suit okay let's go so guys I am done for the day and I'm gonna go home now I have some packages arriving for me which I'm excited about because I got the text about them um, but I've realized so much that I want to share with you guys about my work that I want to tell you before like I forget when I go home but I've realized mental health is I always knew but like seeing it firsthand mental health is so important and reaching out to people who might not seem like they're doing okay like even if you feel shy about it or you don't feel completely like sure if they're fine or not but i feel like if you're shy and you don't know if you should ask because you feel like overstepping i think it's always better to ask and be like to like your friends or whoever just be like i hope you're okay or like is everything okay and you can drop it as nonchalantly as you want um but just reach out to people if you feel like you know they they might seem like they're struggling because i think it'll go a long way and it'll be greatly appreciated and taking care of your own mental health is so important like um don't be afraid to ask for help if you're not okay because i think if you have the right support it can really help you to get better so yeah that's all i wanted to say so i just filmed my revision tips video let me know if you guys found that useful also so many of you guys have asked me about this red lipstick because it's the only red lipstick that i wear it is ruby woo by mac also i'm never really sure if it suits me but you know i'll just go with it i like to sometimes work without the eyeliner because it looks less heavy but i just feel like black winged eyeliner and red lips looks so classic so yeah i know so many of you guys love this color so do i it's my favorite and it's soul's favorite too i'm gonna go down now and do some more work stuff um <laughs> my face just says it all doesn't it but yeah i'm gonna i've got some stuff i need to do and then i'm gonna look at my to-do list because i feel like there's so much i need to do and i can't even remember uh plus i'm hungry i had a mushroom and risotto soup from pret and it was really nice by the way guys but it just wasn't filling as i would have liked it to be so yeah so i've just come down and i've got this amazing package from plt i can't wait to do a haul for you guys i'm actually really loving the shorter like try on hauls i think that they're so much more like to the point and what i like to see so let me know if you guys like the longer ones where i ramble a bit more or you like the shorter ones where i basically just say one or two things i'd pair it with and show you <laughs> did you just say you never show me looking back hey guys um, i still have eyelashes guys i'm so jealous you guys i, I need to do my eyelashes i haven't done it in so long this guy has got a full face of red lipstick makeup on do I? And then she, you always have a. But your on. skin looks so nice. Oh, thanks. You know, I actually had a breakout um, a while so ago. So did I. It's your breakout gone. Yeah, so it's starting mine. to get better. Thank God. God but, knows yeah. what it was. Oh, you know Why what it was. Why is your camera so high up? I look like my eyes are like. <laughs> um, no, you know what it was. It was basically that um, we signed. We ran out of the face wash that Sina got, which is the Neutrogena one. Was so. You guys, good on you our know skin. what? Honestly, it's the it Neutrogena really gate grapefruit wash. It's was six so pounds, good. but it's always on special offer for four pounds for some reason. <laughs> if not in Boots, go check Superdrug. Yeah, <laughs> like, literally. Seriously, always. Superdrug's always better priced than. Yeah, Boots, but anyway. it's always so. Always check. It's always on special offer, and it really works. I'll it's tell you. Amazing. I swear to you, I'm not even exaggerating. I've used Le Mer face wash i've used clinique i've used yeah the um, clinique one didn't really do and they me. actually made my the, face the kiehl's one's also really good but it's like 25 uh, 25 30 pounds whereas no, the this kiehl's one's one was okay pound. it was okay it wasn't like where i'd be like oh my god i really need that but this 
really I need it yeah and I love the Kiehl's face cream with it the Kiehl's um I always forget the name I think your Kiehl's is the avocado no that's the eye cream the Kiehl's um moist isn't there just one face cream no there's they've got loads but it's like the simple one I'll write the name across the screen but that's so good and it's unscented and it doesn't bring me out anyway it's really good gonna eat something so Mickey has come round to chill with me. I have barely fed her anything, so I'm actually oh a God. terrible Iranian because I only gave her like two spoons of food. So no, I'm sorry, so Mickey. Much food. I'm so full. <laughs> no, I think like I will definitely do better next time. I'll actually cook for you. No, like, honestly, that was lovely. I'm I'm no. surprised, guys. That was some spicy pasta I gave her, and she ate. Yeah. Eat it without even batting an eyelid. Mickey, you've come a long I'm way. Learning. I'm learning. <laughs> you've definitely. I drink Iranian tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so we're just chilling now and it's the end of the night. So I will see you guys it's in the morning. It's 10 o'clock, so I've got to go soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've got to go soon. Damn. So this is my breakfast. I've just come back from the gym. When Mickey was over last night, we said to each other that we're gonna go gym together. So we did that, we worked out this morning and we both feel so much better for doing that. So now I'm gonna have breakfast before I get on with my day. So guys, my mum is about to cut my hair. I'm just gonna show you just how long it's got. It actually goes to beneath my bottom now. It's not okay. Hold on, let me lower the camera and I'll show you. So this is how long my hair is right now. It comes up to here. So I really hope this is showing on the screen. My hair literally comes to beneath my bottom right now. Um, it is really, really long. So my mum is going to cut it. My mum's actually trained as a hairdresser about 20 years ago, 15 years ago. Um, so she's gonna do it, mum come. So I've just uh, switched off this ring light because I tried filming with the ring light on and you couldn't see how long my hair is, but my hair has gotten uncontrollably long. Um, it has literally gone to beneath my bottom right now. It is uncontrollably long. Um, so my mum is gonna cut it for me. Um, she's gonna cut off about, okay. So mum, now it's up to here. Yes. I want to cut it's it. It's under your bum. Yeah, so I want to cut it to here. Okay. So how much is that? This it much. And about. So guys, that this is how much I'm cutting off my hair. I should. This much. So how many inches is that? Yeah, come forward. So this is the length that we are cutting off my hair. Um, I think that's about like five inches. No. It's more. Probably. No, I think it's about six. Four or five inches. Yes. Um, but yeah. Can you Guys, my mum is the only person I trust to cut my hair. She's been cutting my hair since, like, that she no, no hair, no other hairdresser has ever cut my hair apart from when I was a baby, and that was before my mum became a hairdresser. Yes. Um, obviously, she doesn't work as a hairdresser now, um, but yeah, she does buy hair. But I have a skill. She does have the skill. A lot of you guys ask me about like healthy hair and how to get longer hair and stuff, and I do think that like, <laughs> what she did. <laughs> so, so a lot of you guys ask me about like long, how to get longer hair and healthier hair, and I think that when my hair is naturally straight, I don't use a lot of heat on it, so that does help. So she's brushed out all of my hair, and she's gonna cut it now. Is that under the comments? Yes. Wow! Guys, it is much shorter now. It's on top of my bum, which I feels so good. The end, just look at that. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you, Mum. <laughs> it was too long. Let me show you guys. Look at that. That's all the hair that she's cut off. That is actually really long. Look at that. That's one strand. How much she's cut off? Um, 
I don't think this is long enough to give to charity, but if it was like six inches, you could give it to charity. So guys, this is the final result of my hair. Thank you so much, Ma. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I love it. It's really, really lovely. Look. Healthy, nice, and come this side. Yeah, really nice. Thank you. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> nice I want to share from behind, Mum, Oh, yes. Perfect. And she has a lovely straight hair. My hair is not straight. So my mom has like really curly hair. Yes. And my dad has like really straight, straight yes. hair. So I have hair like my dad's, like even from when I was a baby. Yes. If you watch videos of me or see pictures of me, my hair is like completely straight. You have to show it when you was a baby, you have it. Yeah. Really straight hair. Yeah, when I was a baby I had really straight yes. hair, so I'll show you guys. Um, one time for sure. It's so light and... But yeah, my hair is still kind of a bit wet. Um, so it will probably dry the tiniest bit higher up than this. But let's see, like my belly button's here. My belly button's here, so it's still like beneath my belly button. Yes. So it's still very still, long. Still. <laughs> yeah, but as an I like my hair long. Like Next I think time. that's my... No. This no. is my signature, my trademark hair. It's not yes, gonna... of course. No, I didn't say next time I cut this much. I said next time a little bit. One time I was out and like, actually this has happened more than one time. And I was walking ahead and someone called me from behind and I was like, Seppi! And I turned around and it was a lovely girl and she was like, I watch your vlogs and I recognised you from your oh, hair. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there's no way we're cutting this, so... I love your hair. Thanks, I Mom. You. I love you. Oh, but I keep pushing, I see. Also, everyone always asks about your hair too. Oh, thank you. So, she has really nice hair. She's got layers though. Mine's like one length. Yes. Mine is like this. Yeah. Layers. Layers. Okay, catch up with you guys in a bit. So we've come to Westfield. My mom is really shocked because I have got her some new masks that fit much better. They're really tighter around the ear. Oh, these little girls are So she keeps going on about that. But yeah, we just parked up and. My mask is really good. Yeah. Everybody's covered. Yeah, so um, I don't know. I think this bit's probably just a bit tighter. But yeah, we've come Westfield, it's Friday, it's 7.30, everywhere in London, well, restaurants, are now capped to close at 10 p.m. So it's quite depressing, but obviously it's what we need to do in order to try and slow down the curve. My mask really smells, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I said it's Oh my God. But guys, Westfield is so empty. I can just tell from the car park. I haven't even walked in, but the car park was so empty for a Friday. So I'm shocked. Oh, we can't. We can't go this way. We have to go the other. Yeah, we can. It doesn't have it here. It's only break. Oh, I've missed this place. Where have you been? Wait, tell mummy. Dude, Simon was just telling my mum that basically all the <laughs> nightclubs are open from yeah, 5 till 10 now. Yeah. <laughs> to 10. <laughs> PM, huh? 5 in the afternoon till 10 PM. Now this bit's a bit more busier and the food court, no? So I've just picked up this top. I think it's so cute. So I'm going to get it in a size small. And uh, we've come to Nando's. <laughs> uh, come Nando's in Westfield, guys. I was telling Sina and my mum I haven't had a Nando's inside Nando's since before quarantine. So this is a really weird really experience. It's such a nice experience. Yeah. yeah. Wait, let me just turn this. You know what? It's actually I've had it before, and it's such a nice experience because you don't have to get up. To yeah, you don't have to get up. You put, you and basically you scan the core, uh, the code. And keep bringing your drink, yeah. Basically, it's like Nando's has become a normal restaurant and people <laughs> are appreciating it. <laughs> yeah, no service charge, but normal restaurant. No service charge? No. Why? Because Nando's never had service charge. Probably they added one. Oh, thank you. This literally came in two seconds, guys. I it's not normal. So fast. Guys, I thought I would end this vlog by showing you all what I got from Zara. 
so it's basically like a mini haul oh this isn't even oh, yeah this is my bag so the first item i got was this soft um polo neck top it's in a size small and it's 9.99 and when i tell you it is the softest fabric i basically got this for work because i love wearing stuff like this with skirts i think it looks so cute on uh, with like a little black mini skirt um and tights not mini skirt but you know what i mean like a um, over the knee skirt and tights i think it'll look so nice and it's just the softest fabric so it's so nice to throw on like I, when i'm looking for work clothes in the morning i always pick the comfiest thing and especially as it's getting so much colder in london this is perfect the next item i got was this dress it's like a green and it's a leather wrap material and i got this for 29.99 in a size extra small and it cinches in at the waist which is why i like it i feel like it'll look really nice on um i'd probably wear it with like some strappy heels on a night out um i don't the inside is like lined so it's like fleecy so i don't know if it'll get too hot so i have to be careful if like i'm going to a restaurant and stuff because i don't want to be wearing something that like I'll be sweating in the whole time. So I'll have to like kind of wear it and see how I feel in it to see if I like it or not. But it looks really pretty and it's 29 99 Basically, you're gonna see a lot of like leather stuff in this haul. Um, it's not really a haul, is it? Then I got this dress and it is this black, oh, it's the wrong way around, is it? No, it's the right way around. It's this black leather dress. I don't think you guys can see yeah this black leather i got this in a size small for 29.99 and it is like on the sides like ruched material so like it all it's all leather but it's like ruched and all of this is faux leather by the way and i think it comes up to like just above my knees i have this dress in nude on my instagram persian bunny if you haven't checked it out and I absolutely love it. So I had to get it in black. And then this is my favorite item that I got. It is this black leather laser blazer with gold buttons. So it is leather, as you can see. And I absolutely love this. I saw this on the website and I was like, I need to go and store and get this ASAP because I'm so sure it's going to sell out. If any of you guys follow Melissa's wardrobe on Instagram, I was praying that Melissa won't put this on her Instagram yet because whenever she posts something, it sells out. But this literally reminds me of the Balmain jackets. It is so beautiful on. I tried it on. It's kind of pricey for faux leather, in my opinion. It is... 69.99 and i got it in a size small but i love this i've been looking for like a leather jacket for ages and i feel like this is perfect because it's so elegant but so cool and it just i love it i could wear this with jeans and it will go well because it's leather i could wear this like over a dress and it will look nice like honestly any context i feel like if you threw on this coat provided the gold buttons don't clash with what you're wearing it will look so good so i absolutely love it and i'm getting, gonna get so much wear out of it so that is the end of my mini zara haul and what i got i also got the bershka top that i showed you guys in store but it's in my bedroom so i can't bother to get it this is my parents so I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, then please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. It obviously helps me a lot if you do and make, shows me that you guys like watching my videos. If you did, also leave me a comment. I will be so happy reading them. Don't forget to check out my socials. They're always linked down below. But my Instagram is Persian Bunny and my snap is Sappy Samai. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!